Welcome to Fake News and How to Spot It from the Coventry Public Library. I am Lauren Walker. I'm the Assistant Director and this is Kiki Butler uh, and she is our Head of Adult Services. So why is this important to you? Um, well, I think to me it's most important right now because of the election. Um, you know, when we were doing the research for this program, we had seen that study that mentioned that one in five U.S. adults say they get their political news primarily through social media, and also that those who depend on social media for political news have lower political knowledge than most of the other groups. So I think that in order to make sure that voters are informed, it is really important that they can tell the difference between what is real and what is not real so that they can make the best decision for for what they believe in instead of um, kind of going off of what's kind of being thrown at them on their news feed. Yeah, um, I also think it's probably like really important. I mean, if you think about it, um, what we hold it being true and believe shapes a lot of how we decide how we're gonna live our lives and how we're going to behave and what we're gonna do and how we treat even other people. Um, right. So I think it's it can really, if you start listening to things that are absolutely just off the wall, you can completely end up behaving like a completely different person. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And one of the other things that I think is really crucial is that um, it seems to be, you know, technology evolved so fast that I think we haven't really been able to formulate a way to teach um, information literacy as it pertains to fake news. And so like, especially young people are actually even more susceptible, susceptible to it, it seems. And that is only going to get worse if we don't kind of start educating people now about it.